sauce looked like. And yeah, I'm just gonna taste that before it becomes fried cream. This so is looking like a mermaid here, but they do have some mermaid cinnamon suits here. You could have like a sandwich or a burger over there, different from what they serve at the main restaurant. <laughs> So that was tonight's disco event at the Moonlight Bar. And now the time is 12.24 a.m. So I'm hoping that you enjoyed watching yesterday's video. It was a pretty long one, 44 minutes, but it's been a lot of amusement and a lot of pleasure having watched that acrobat circus show at the end, which I did also get to put one clip of it on my Instagram account. That Acrobat Circus show, it was inspiring, it was spectacular, it was heroic. That got me prepared for my 23rd birthday already. Kind of crazy to say that. Beside that, earlier in the video, I watched this volleyball game where it was going great until towards the end where that one guy got hurt and then they checked on him for a couple of minutes and right after that they ended the water polo game and just so you know this is not like a once a week or once a month kind of event like as soon as you get to the bottom floor and head out of the building it's something that happens on a daily basis like they just pick an hour of the day for any kind of sporting event they also pick an hour for the soccer event, they also pick an hour for table tennis and even a basketball event. There's all that group workout, which is one other thing that I showed you in yesterday's video about those bikes that were standing there or to do a group workouts. It's been a long evening, I'm not gonna lie. I waited over an hour for my video to upload and I barely got it up before midnight. It was at below 20% for over 30 minutes. It's the next morning now. It is 9.09 .09 a.m. And look at this. Like, are they even measuring here? Is this a, oh, let me try this out. Huh, you know, it's like a lever, but except that's more like a machine, I guess. It's, I guess there's a full, there's a, like, what even is this? You can tell from the technology, it's a bit like a car engine, actually, but if it's a car engine, you'd usually have like empty and full, or you'd have numbers here. So if I were to put it at dead slow, and... <laughs> okay, I mean, this is interesting. I just left it at half. Ooh. Look at this. My guy. Just when I spotted them doing that, but she was trying to climb up this door. Like, hello? Are you playing I and seek it? Like, look at him. He still, he did it again. Oh my God. Just doesn't stop. He is. <laughs> okay. Looks like. I'm just gonna run like a mouse from here. I mean, there are actually two cats and there's a bunch of barrels over there. So that cat better not play like a mouse. So here's a map of the hotel, but mainly outside the building. Like as soon as you get out of the building, 
got the swimming pools with that one in the shape of a rectangle being the pool for the water sides and etc and if you look towards the bottom then that's where it shows the sea well there's one thing interesting that i found that i really wanted to take some videos of but you can see this statue here it's a statue of a mermaid that's really nice but here you got the kids park but okay that's a little bit odd for me but we got a swing here they have something like this at the Sianji hotel as well oh beach volleyball perhaps what a nice place to play volleyball actually but look even got a swing well that one though is a love swing so you know it's like a swing that you would sit there's a couple like suppose it's wedding day right and before wedding like maybe a day before wedding let's say you get a few pictures taken you know your couple sitting down there and that's just some pre-wedding scenes i could say and that's the ice cream stand right there you can get it in a cone in three flavors you can get strawberry you can get vanilla or you can get chocolate but also you can get a variety of ice creams from there I got the Oreo one. So yeah, this is what it's looked like. And I'm yeah, just gonna taste that before it becomes fried cream. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Now for some tea. Well, in this room, we just had a group of people play table tennis here. And look through the cameras. Okay, so there's no register here right now. But if you can see the cameras, okay, so one of those shows the shooting room, one of those shows the balloon popping room, and some of these pictures show the arcade at the bottom floor, and you can see there's me. Hello. <laughs> okay, I do look kind of funny here, but hi. Okay, yeah, it's the water polo game again. Well, this time I went to the market and now I sell some bubble gum and you can see that art on the tree. I'm trying to tell what that is. What can I think of? I mean, the best thing I could think of is a seagull, but I mean like a seagull flying in the air when I look at this piece of art. It could be a seagull that just took off but it does look like a plane as well, but more like a seagull from its position and from its shape as well. Come on, baby, shine faster, faster. Keep going. Pull one more nice and even. Come on, Captain, show your power. Adiba, come on, be faster, Sam. Adiba, pull shot. Shoot time, go round, what's it say, bro? Come on, Captain, shoot time, what's it say? Come on, Captain, shoot time, what's it say? Okay, so those are the events for today. At 3 o'clock, you got basketball. At 3.30, you got the archery. And the soccer event, that's at 5. And the side that, so to this. So you're just looking at the mermaid here, but they do have some mermaid sewing suits here. Look at that. And yeah, you got some of this part of the gallery here in the zone. Two ladies in mermaid costumes so yeah these are some pictures of oh okay all right yeah so it is already lunchtime i was looking at the gallery here all right so that was lunch there's also another restaurant as soon as you get out of the hotel that you could sit there and you could have like a sandwich or a burger over there different from what they serve at the main restaurant now the time is 309 p.m and I'm just above the amphitheater and I'm watching some guy doing jet ski here.
Okay, I went out for a swim now. Mm. Yeah, this is cool. So, for what I found at the event board at four o'clock, there is going to be a water volleyball competition at the sea, which I will go and have a swim there tomorrow. As I said yesterday, I am not a fan of the sea, but for now, it's time for archery. So now there's an archery competition going on as this guy's about to shoot to the target. Ooh, wow. That one went off. Okay, well now this lady's up for it as she's trying to get to the middle of the target. Well, she already shot one arrow at the target. Yeah, I mean, you can tell not many people come to this event, I guess because of the popularity. For some reason, archery isn't as popular of a sporting event as the others that are shown. I'm really looking to watch the beach volleyball though. Now, the beach volleyball game has just started about three minutes ago, but I'm just gonna enter this restaurant and watch from here. And there we go. Here's the beach volleyball game. Well, different from what I thought, you know, like those two times that I have been on the boat trip three and four years ago, Kenan and the group would get into the sea and would play volleyball while in the water. That was fun. So yeah, this is the area that they do the beach volleyball. Wow, that was not really a good serve. So yeah, I'm at the Moonlight restaurant and if you go downstairs, that's where they do the DJ events. But now let's just get a watch of this. So let's see how it goes. And this serve, whoa, that was a close, whoa, that was a close call. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not a big fan of sand. See how it goes now. Whoa, that's really jumpy. <laughs> Oh man, the invincible Iron Man said, hey, you stop right here. <laughs> Maybe that should be more like Captain America though, but who knows, you could still compare that with Iron Man. Okay, here they go now. So that's the serve. Whoa, I just got over the wall of Captain America. <laughs> could say that. Whoa, are you? Spider-Man or what? It's 4.31 p.m. and the last group workout session at the bikes station at the Moonlight restaurant has already just started. And if you've heard about what's been going on YouTube the last 24 hours, so Mr. Beast has finally dethroned T-Series from having the most subscribers on YouTube as Mr. Beast has now reached 271 million subscribers. Congrats to Mr. Beast for such a huge success and for all that entertainment. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm hoping that you enjoyed watching this video. Do leave a like. I will see you guys in the video tomorrow. Bye.